guys. So today we're going to talk about le pomp, which would be, I believe it's French. I should have educated myself before making this video. Um, but it's the French word for the pulse or the heartbeat. And this is incredibly relevant when we're playing swing jazz, hot jazz, or what we like to call gypsy jazz. So when we're playing this, <clears throat> It's really important to focus on the fact that in this style, there are no drummers. So when we're the rhythm guitar player, we're the drummer. So if I were to imagine myself playing, chords and tonality really come secondary to my rhythm chops. So that means now all of a sudden this comes second to this. And I know for a lot of us that's really hard I think sometimes as guitar players we forget that our right hands are just as important as this hand, okay? Actually, I'm not holding my wrist out this way. I'm just keeping it nice and loose. And that gives me, I guess, a little bit of freedom for my muscles to give that nice swing feel. I'm not sure why exactly it works, but that's definitely how I do it. And you want to give yourself a little bit of relaxed wrist. Because eventually when you're going fast, you need to be able to relax, okay? So after I strum down, I'm going to let go of my left hand just enough so the strings stop ringing. I'm not going to actually let go of the strings, but just so that the sound stops. So like this. And that's what gives it that heartbeat feel and that pulse, right? And now I'm counting like a swing feel. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Now on those ends, that swung eighth, one, and two. I'm going to emphasize that with my upstroke, and that would be like this. So one, and two, and three. And notice I'm strumming up on muted strings. So that's the most important feeling I need is that one and two, because that's swing, right? So I'll speed that up a little bit. Now instead of getting bored and thinking, oh, I'm just playing this one chord or I'm just playing this chord progression, because a lot of us guitar players don't like to play rhythm chords for more than a few choruses through, think of yourself as a drummer who's just locking into the beat and feeling that pocket really, really hard, you know? And, and that's where you're gonna really get good is spending minutes, if not hours, just playing rhythm, you know? That will eventually affect your lead playing as well because it's gonna affect your rhythm, get your rhythm nice and tight, but also the song form and the chord forms, it's gonna be solid in your head and you're not gonna get lost while you're playing it. Well, help you it will prevent you from getting lost as you're soloing okay another thing is if you explore your chord voicings playing rhythm can sometimes be just as interesting if not more interesting than playing lead that would be this And essentially, that's the same exact thing as the Le Pomp, or the first feel that we were doing. Except now, on 1 and 3, I'm aiming for the bass notes, or the E string. And on 2 and 4, I'm aiming for the higher strings. So it sounds like a drum. Boom, ka, bass, snare, bass, snare. Or for bluegrass, or a lot of types of traditional Americana, they call it the boom chucks. So that's why. I, I like to call it the boom chucks, or the gypsy boom chucks. Notice that swung eighth note is still in there. Those up, muted up strums. And I, I noticed that for the gypsy boom chuck, 
the one and three, the bass is held out, and the two and four is generally a little more staccato. Right? So. 